Hey guys, Todd with Great Escape Farms here. Are you tired of holes in your leaves and getting everything torn up by these little critters right here, Japanese beetles? Not Murphy in the background, but the Japanese beetles. Well, there's several different solutions to them. There's traps, and I've heard from many people that traps actually attract them in from other areas and they can make your problem worse, although it would reduce the overall population. One of the things I found is to just go out and collect them. And what I used to do is just collect them in a bucket and put them in soapy water and drown them. But now that I have chickens, I actually use them for protein feed. And the best time to catch a Japanese beetle, actually the best time is just after dark. It's cooled down some. They do not fly in the dark at all. The next best time is early, early in the morning. So right now you can see this guy right here. He's not moving too much. Some of them in the mid afternoon, I come up, I just get this close and they are flying off on me. So what I do is I grab a container like this, a wide mouth container. They have candy and all kinds of other things. Just a wide mouth container could be a coffee can or whatever. And they have a defense mechanism. Let me see. Oh, there you go. See, he, uh, he is very lively in there moving around. All you have to do is get close to it and they drop off and that's part of their defense mechanism. So it makes it tough to catch them by hand. But if you have a wide mouth jar, they would just fall right into it. Problem with uh, when they're warm and in the early afternoon is you get close and instead of dropping off, they actually fly off. So. Okay, I've been out here hunting for a little while. You can see I got some here and I like nighttime because they don't try to fly out of here. They just kind of lay down there and you can see them right there. I just put the bucket underneath them and kind of, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but just, or I know I can't do this, but let me try this differently. I saw them up here. Okay, so I have the bucket here. The bucket is right in front of the camera. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a video. So there's one right up in this leaf right here. Actually, there's two of them right there. Let me get up underneath of it. And what I'm gonna do is just rake them with my finger. And what they do is they drop right into the bucket right here and they don't try to fly out or anything else they're they don't move or do much at night so it's perfect time to catch them okay so these are the beetles that we caught last night okay, let's see if i can unscrew this there we go and you can see they're moving around a little bit in here but not too much that's why i like catching them at night and feeding them in the morning is they're very very slow moving and that allows me to just dump them right in here and I don't have to worry about them flying off and they're not moving too much let me turn the electric off on this chicken tractor here up the door and try to keep the ladies from coming out and they are anxiously awaiting and we put that in and then they go to town here so that is how I get rid of Japanese beetles and also give my girls some protein here and makes them happy and teaches them that when they get out of this chicken tractor and they're free ranging, that this is the type of stuff they go after. Okay, this is why I don't like doing this during the day. They're flying around trying to get out. If I come over here and put the bucket under it, you'll see moat. Actually, they're doing a little better. Yeah, I did lose a few there that went off flying. And I end up losing about half of them when I try to catch them during the daylight because they go off flying and they do everything else. I got that one too. And while I'm catching others, the ones that are in here go flying out. So it's just very, very difficult to do this in the daylight, much better in the morning or even better yet in the dark. Get this lid on before they all fly out. So that is why I do it at night. Well, three weeks ago, I was capturing them live and feeding them to the chickens, but the chickens can only handle a couple dozen a day now. Uh, I think they're filled up with these things and I've been freezing them. In the morning, I freeze them. So I get them dry 
and just put them in the freezer and then I'll pull them out frozen and give the the chickens a little like icicle snack. But in the afternoon and evening when they're moving a lot, I'm hitting them in the water here because they're very, very active and the water seems to slow them down some. So what I'm doing, uh, actually this capture right here is both my afternoon and evening. So before I was getting a thousand uh, bugs in a, a, a hunt and now I'm down to, I don't know, 100, 150 here. So population is way, way down. Part of that is we're late in the season for them. This is mid-July. And I don't think that their lifespan is going to go much longer and they're going to lay their eggs and move on. But for every one of these things I kill, that's less eggs I'm going to have to deal with in the future. I'm also going to mix it up next year and do something else because you can see these leaves here. They, they still have a lot of damage, even with me out here several times a day. Now, there's a couple days that I was traveling and all and I didn't get to do anything. But uh, still, this is a lot of damage here for me being out here. So... It's about time to wrap this video up. This is the frozen container of, hey, I'd have to say over a thousand Japanese beetles in here. And I still feed these to my chickens from time to time. They're, it's a little frozen treat when it's hot out. Even though the Jap Japanese beetles are no longer up bugging me anymore, I still have treats for my chickens here. So next year, what I'm going to do is I am still going to go out and capture this because the female Japanese beetle lays 40 to 60 eggs. So if I take one out of circulation, that's 40 to 60 that I take out for next year. And assuming a half or a third of these are females, and this is just a small percentage of what I got this year. So I took a lot of them out of circulation. I know I missed a lot. I'm going to have a lot more next year. So next year, I'm going to use... I'm going to try the traps and I'll go ahead and do a product review on the different traps that I get. And I'm going to go through and grab this and use the beetles to feed the chicken. So I'm going to do a combination of both. Uh, just everything I'm looking, the traps seem to attract a lot of them. And if I can attract them from neighbor's yards or whatever and get them in the traps and work to keep them off of my plants all in the long run, a couple years down the line, it'll be a lot better for me and the plants. So. That's the plan for right now. Uh, look for a product review coming on the bug bags, the baited bags to catch these things. And thank you very much for tuning in. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, following us on our Odyssey channel, and please like and comment on the video. Have a great day.